Hey Internet, uh, this is my reaction to uh, a review or rant or whatever the hell it is to last night's finale of True Blood. Um, it was pretty typical because there were good things, there were bad things, there were typical things. Uh, there was one surprise, uh, meaning one thing that actually, one thing I actually didn't see coming. That was about it. Um, they promised us the body count. They gave us four significant deaths. Two, I guessed right, last week. Debbie and Jesus. I kind of guessed Tara. That's why Tara dying wasn't the surprise. Uh, Nan. Nan really shouldn't count. She's not really a main character. But it was a true blood body count, which meaning it was kind of half-ass. Um, but anyway. Um, yeah, so Lafayette killed Jesus. I was just starting to like Jesus. Now he's gone. Figures. Um, don't know what the point of his whole demon thing was. The whole last couple of seasons really amounted to zero. But it gives Lafayette something to grieve over next season, so that's okay. Uh, Suki, uh, Bill, and Eric on the uh, the pyre. You know, I was like, okay, eventually they'll get out of it. Um, Suki used it, used her uh, plot device fairy powers that she pulls out whenever the plot acquires requires her. Zaps Lafayette, and um, then Antonio, who wasn't buried in that cemetery over there, for some reason shows up with the rest of everyone that was. And Grand yanks Marnie out of Lafayette. Grand didn't have to be the one doing that. Grand could have just went over and talked to Sookie. I didn't really need. It was kind of stupid. Also, stupid was Marnie's little soilic. Eh, I can't talk. Whatever. Marnie, uh, just bitching. Just, you know. I thought it was going to amount to something. It just amounts to her bitching, and then she yells, and then she leaves. Uh. And then she's, like, then stupidly convinced to go by saying, that like, oh, you know, we get to go live forever now, and these guys are stuck here. Like, the vampires are stuck here forever. Unless someone stakes them. What happens then? Anyway. Um, let's see. What else happened in last night's finale? Uh, oh, first let's get the stupid shit out of the way. Andy and Holly hug it out. It comes in with maybe ten minutes to go in the season. Horrible placement, thank you. Horrible placement. I don't care. I mean, it's nice that Andy, you know, is going to be a little more, like, gentle next season. A little more, like, calm and collective. Because um, he hasn't ever really been that way, so that's good. Um, Holly, I'm, like, completely indifferent to. I really could care less. Uh, so I don't know where that's going. They dropped Ari uh, Andy's, like, fairy thing from an episode ago. I guess they didn't drop it. They'll pick it up again next year sometime. Uh, maybe that was the point of Holly dressing up as a fairy. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, what else didn't matter? Uh, let's see. Ah. Renee talks to Arlene. It was nice seeing Renee again. Reminded me of when the show used to be grounded and much better. Um, uh, what do you call it? Terry's old buddy, played by uh, Scott Foley, who uh, I like Scott Foley. I liked him on Scrubs, at least. Um, kept on saying, nobody cares, Sean, every time he showed up. Uh, if you saw Scrubs, you'd know that joke. Anyway, uh, Terry's got some bad things in his past, or this guy's bringing him along. Uh, so that sets up next year, which actually, that's okay. That's okay. It's better than the baby plot line, so at least that's moving a little in the right direction. Um, I think that covers the useless stuff. What else did we get here? We got, um, oh, all right, Jason telling uh, Hoyt was a good scene. Uh, I was surprised. I mean, I thought Hoyt was going to really go off the deep end in this like episode or something like that. He didn't, um, uh, but he has a chance to do that next season. Uh, so, yeah, he's got somewhere to go next season. That's okay. So That's okay. Um, I like Jason with Jessica. Uh, I like Jessica in general. 
Um, don't really know where she's going. Well, she's going to be entwined with Jason next year anyway, and probably Hoyt also. So that's going to continue next season. That's okay. I, I, you know, that'll be all right next year. Um, my one surprise was actually when Jessica leaves and there's a knock on the door. I thought for sure it was going to be Hoyt with like a shotgun or something like that, and it ends up being Newland, Vampire Newland. Uh, I didn't see that coming, uh, so I like that. Um, and then, who else? Um, yeah, so I like where that one's going. Uh, Sam, I kind of like Sam's story. Sam's like the only character in the show I actually care about. Like, everyone else, they either entertain me, or, you know, they're good-looking, or I hate them. Um, but I like Sam. I like he got a happy ending for now, then he got the, the, the wolf showed up. Um, you know, that's, that's whatever. Um, the pack is going to be after him next season. So that's, that's a better storyline, at least, than what he had going into this season. Um, his hot girlfriend gets to stay around. I like that. Um, I guess Alice is going to join their, like, problem, because it's Alice Seed's problem, too. And seeing as Alice is going to be Sookie's, uh, next love interest next season, or at least that's what it looks like, Sookie might be joining with them. Because Bill and Eric, I think, are going to be off doing their own thing. I'll get to that in a second. Um, so she's going to be joining with them. That's all going to be going on. Oh, my favorite part of the episode was Alice Eid finding the... The, uh... What do you call it? The missing body in the cement. Which is, uh, my man Russell. Who, uh... That's great. It's great that he's back. We'll see him in season five. That, like, raises the stakes for everything. I love it. I love that. Um, I'm glad he didn't show up in the finale, uh, because it gives, like, season three ended with him dying, and now, you know, we had a whole season without him, so, good, now it's time to get him back in and back into things, along with everything else. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the, the Sookie Bill Eric scene, where she doesn't pick, where she picks one of them by not picking anyone, uh, was awful. It was just, like, you know, just get it over with. You're not going to pick either one. Uh, it was just, I don't know, just, like, lazy. Lazy. Even, like, the acting. Like, you know, all three of them, are they're good actors, but I just feel like they're just going through the motions a little bit this year. Um, you know, Anna Paquin's great. She can cry in cue, which is awesome, but she did it, like, six times in this episode. She did it, uh, she did it like, four times. You yeah. know. Let's go with a different choice. Um, yeah, so I was, uh, that scene was whatever. Uh, I liked Bill and Eric killing, uh, Nan. Um, and it looks like Bill and Eric are going to be hunted by the Authority next year, which is good. We get to meet the Authority. Um, so I think Bill and Eric might be a little bit off on their own next year, which is also pretty, pretty good. The two of those guys without Sookie, I think, actually makes them, make them better characters, but... Maybe, maybe you think differently. I don't, I don't know. Uh, who else? There's something I'm missing before I get to the end here. Something I'm missing. Um, oh, uh, Pam. Completely forgot about Pam. Um, Pam, I like next year, might be a bit of a problem for everybody. Um, you know, uh, I think I read that we're gonna go into, like, her, like, flashbacks next year, so that's cool. Finally give her something, like, really substantial to do. Um, I could see her, you know, being a problem, but then ending up, like, saving Eric and dying next year or something like that, which they could do. Um, speaking of dying, get to the end of the episode, uh, where my computer just shut off. The end of the episode where, um, Tara gets shot in the head, Sookie kills Debbie, Tara seems pretty much dead. I mean, she's either dead or Bill or Eric are going to run over there and turn into a vampire. Because I don't think that gunshot's going to heal. Um, either way, I'm cool with it. Cool with it. Sookie doesn't have her BFF anymore. Not sad about it. Which is sad. Uh, that's what happened. And it was okay. It wasn't like, eh, okay. It was okay. It wasn't good. Um, I'm definitely sticking with the show because there's a lot of potential for next season. Maybe this time this time they can realize it. 
unlike this season. Um, but it was still entertaining, still fun, still made me laugh. Uh, you know, they got rid of some dead weight with Tommy and Tara and um, and Jesus. Well, I liked Jesus, but still, too many people. Uh, we're done with Marnie and the witches and um, done with Nan and her like bickering and everything like that, so... Yeah. That's it. It was okay. That's how I feel. That's all I got. Adios.